In this video we are going to talk about what does successful season for Miami Dolphins look like. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. The Miami Dolphins 2021 season may best be compared to a roller coaster as they fluctuated from being completely unbeatable to being completely terrible throughout the course of the season. After such a season, everyone's focus has swiftly gone to 2022, although nobody is sure what to anticipate from the team at this point. It is clear at this time that nearly no rational sportsbook believes they will survive the regular season. But first, let's examine that query and consider what the Dolphins should do to have a successful campaign. Number 5. Find some defense stability. One of the main reasons we used the word roller coaster in our opening remarks was a defense that, at moments in 2021, was unsure of its own direction. Without a doubt, the Dolphins' defense is loaded with talent, yet they frequently fall short of expectations. Simply put, this inconsistent behavior needs to stop, and in actuality, their mentalities may hold the key to obtaining this stability. Because players like Xavier Howard, Jevon Holland, Christian Wilkins, and Byron Jones are a frightening sight on the other end, they might have their prayers answered with a change in head coach for the upcoming season Mike McDaniel has taken over for Brian Flores and possibly a change in the playing system. Number 4. Make their draft picks better. Some individuals might be shocked to learn that we list draft picks as a way for Miami to gain in 2022. Even so, we think it might really help them, especially if they are patient and focus on player development early in the season. The Dolphins actually didn't make a selection until round three and didn't enter the draft with a ton of money. These fresh faces could play a part if they are handled properly. Hell, all all, they only took four. Their first pick, linebacker Channing Tidal, might help them in the middle of the field, while Eric Azukanma, a wide receiver from Texas Tech, wouldn't be the first later round pick to succeed in the NFL. Number 3. Do not rush Tua Tagovailoa. Are we the only ones who feel bad about Tua Tagovailoa? Since being selected by Miami with the fifth overall choice in 2020, there has been a lot of animosity directed towards the Alabama graduate. Having said that, we must be honest and realize that, at this point in his NFL career, he hasn't achieved the degree of success that he or anybody else had anticipated. Even so, it hasn't entirely been a bad thing. Tyreek Hill recently asserted that the 24-year-old quarterback was more accurate than Patrick Mahomes, which, while a stretch, is a sign of confidence in the player. The quarterback has shown improvement over the years. Miami just cannot afford to replace him in the middle of the season. Instead of continually substituting him in and out of the lineup, they need to let him gain confidence and let him overcome challenges. It's up to McDaniel to grab hold of his shoulders and start pumping him up the way we know he is capable of. Number 2. Properly make use of Tyreek Hill. On paper, the Dolphins' acquisition of the aforementioned Tyreek Hill appears to be a fantastic move nevertheless, they must make the most of his presence on the team. Theoretically, adding Hill to the roster should improve their situation right away, but they still need to find a method to get the ball into his hands, whether it be through screen plays or out of the backfield. The friendship between Hill and Tago Bailoa will be important in this regard. The initial indications of that chemistry appear promising, but only time will truly tell. If the two don't click, the Dolphins' trade will turn out to be a costly miss. Number 1. Improve their running strategy. Finally, we'll examine the Dolphins' running strategy. At the end of the previous season, Miami had one of the worst rushing assaults in the league and was far from where they needed to be. It won't come as a surprise to anyone who regularly watches them that this is at the top of our list, if they want to advance further next season, they must simply make improvements in this area. Their offensive line struggled to protect them, and none of their running backs performed well enough to make plays out of the backfield. They revamped their team this offseason by bringing in a new head coach, an offensive line coach, and talent at both positions. Raheem Mostert, Sony Michel, Chase Edmonds, and Miles Gaskins are all players that ought to offer something to the roster. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.